Do you know any young adults who are not LGBTQ? Do I know any young adults who are not LGBTQ? Well, no, this isn't as ridiculous as it sounds. So this is in reference to a study that came out this week that claims that 39% of Americans aged between 18 and 24 now identify as LGBTQ. Now, this is interesting to me. So I, I kind of feel like with all the proliferation of sort of new sexualities, new identities, etc., isn't it just like LGBTQ? Isn't that isn't it mostly straight now, basically? Yeah. Straight, straight well, with, with the kind of need to be, I don't know, go well, on. We've seen this trend in comedy. There's all these comedians who, who come out and do these big, long social media posts about how they're queer. Uh, but then they say, there's always a, a thing in there that they say they haven't had any same-sex, uh, you know, actual action. No, it's very, so, it's very easy to be queer they, because you just identify. They just want to identify. They just want to be cool. They've made it this uh, the cool thing to be now. It's, it's basically we've flipped the, the discrimination. There's, there's an element of it as well that strikes me as a bit of kind of like sort of buying yourself into a victim class, right? So I think, like, there is a history of gay people being persecuted throughout the centuries, being burnt at the stake, arrested, like, also tortured, etc. Um, that hasn't happened uh, to people who claim to be cats, you know? That, that, hasn't hap- that hasn't happened to cat gender people. But now cat, cat gender people are now in that same bracket of LGBTQIA+. Plus. Yeah. Uh, because a plus means anyone, basically, at this point. And, and I just sort of feel like it's almost like, it's almost, I suppose it's almost saying, like, we, we are as oppressed as you. Yeah. No, you're not. You just think you're a cat. And it's, if, you, if you don't have a personality, it's a sort of, a, it's, it's a cheap way of sort of, you know, pretending you've got a personality, having, you know, something to talk about, about yourself. Yeah. So instead of actually going out and achieving something or, um, you know, becoming an interesting person, you can just be like, look, I'm, a, I'm cat gender. This is an interesting one, Lewis. I, I trust that you will give the opposing view here. Are you in support of cat gender people? I, you know what? People are, they're lonely. <laughs> That's what this is all about. They, they, want, they, they want to be nice. I think, the, you know what this is about? It's all about, I'm listening to the lady and the, it's all about being nice. And, uh, and by saying you're, you know, whatever you are, you're queer or whatever those letters are, you're basically saying I'm flexible, whatever you want, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Well, maybe, look, I, and by the way, I, when, when yeah. uh, Dr. Hamlin was talking about courtesy, I'm all for that. I don't see, like, if someone, yeah. and quite genuinely, if someone wants to identify as a cat, call themselves cat gender, uh, I'm, I'm, fi- I'm fine, it's nothing to do with me, I really do believe that. Yeah. But I think if they say you must use my pronouns, which obviously. are nyan nyan, obviously. I think, well, I'm not going to in- imitate a cat for yeah. you. But this is where they're saying that everybody is saying they're LGBT. Right. This, yeah, everybody yeah, is saying exactly. That. The fact is, here's the underlying scary thing, is that nobody's getting laid. No one's... OK, I think you are allowed to say that. OK, am I allowed to say yes, that? Yes, I think I can't that you can't... Sure. You can tell with saying, Lewis there he was really worried about breaching off the, com rules yeah. <laughs> as I can, usual. I can use that word. Nobody... Yes, no, word. People aren't hooking up today Okay. so that a lot of men are thinking, you know what... You know, it's identify that, as, as yeah. something more flexible. And you know what? Maybe he is more. Maybe it is. I'm finding myself attracted to you. No, but that's and, not... <laughs> Lewis, that's know, not to do with, with identity. That's to do with my natural charisma. Yeah. Well, well. so if I could find love in you, I could find someone <laughs> with, also with charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But you see, now you... you, but you you're not in a victim category, though, are you? Because you are heterosexual. So, you, you know, would you want to identify into this classification of LGBTQ? How do you know I'm not in a victim category? Well, I mean, you just seem... So- I think that's really presumptuous of you. OK, Lewis. I believe that. What, what is your victim category? Well, have you been to family court ever as a man? <laughs> <laughs> You'll know what a victim category is. Uh, she, the woman's applauding because that's the second wife. That's the trophy wife. <laughs> that's not the one who broke the guy's heart and stopped him from seeing the kids. That's the new one. Leo, okay. I'm going to come to you now. And uh, yeah. Do you have any reaction to this? Well, no, I don't true. have any problems. I don't <laughs> have any problems with family court because uh, I'm actually a good father. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, th- I think it is, uh, there, there's a point there. People aren't having as much sex as, as they used to because it's a very dangerous thing to do now. That's actually statistically true. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually completely true. And it's, there's an abundance. For, for, speaking on first men, is that men are not getting laid. Right. Having sexual They're intercourse. not. Like, uh, under the age of 30, if I can make up a number, I'll make up a number. Maybe, like, 50% have never had... There's, like, a huge no, number. That, that's completely true. The, yeah. ages of, the age that people are losing their right. virginity is going up and up and up, and there are more so, people abstaining. And people just want to cuddle, they want to hug, and after a while, you know, it's like you look in, in the guy's eyes and you find... And it the love that you exactly, need. Exactly, and it doesn't matter what gender you are. Right, exactly. And by the way, what better way to get a hug than be a cat? Because cats, that's what cats do. Yeah. That's all that they're and then, about. And then women, speaking for women, women have an abundance of choice. 
So there's that fa that choice thing where you have too much choice and you can't make a decision. I, I so that women aren't getting laid. Lewis, either. I think you are perfectly placed to speak on behalf of all women. <laughs>